This is Nancy Danino. We are here at the Toronto Pro Super Show. We've just wrapped up the Men's Classic Physique Finals. And this is no need for introduction to a man that's been on the stage since 1989. IFBB Pro Darren Charles takes the win. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You know, you know your history. That's, that's great. <laughs> I know your history. It's interesting. And, and you're 46 years young, I will say. Years in bodybuilding. 47. 47. Yeah, I'll, I'll give myself, I'm going to be 48 in a couple months. Next month, actually. Well, clearly, you have an array of fans here just waiting to talk to you as we're doing this interview, and that's just from your longevity in the sport. Um, you're known for your exceptional posing, the art of posing, we say, and you've taken that and you've transferred your physique and all the skills you have into, into men's classic physique. What did you have to do in terms of training to downsize and cultivate your physique to this? Well, you know, since I was off for uh, almost semi-retired for four or five years, uh, I came down a little bit. You know, I used to compete on stage at, at 235 off-season, close to 250. And in this class is height to weight ratio. Uh, so it, because of my height being 5'8", when I measure in, I have to be 190. So if you do the math, I'm competing 45 pounds lighter. Um, but yes, to answer your question, since I was off for four or five years, I already came down a little. Um, just, you know, just training to, to just live life and have fun and, be, and go to the beach. And so I was already down to maybe 220. Uh, and then this class came up and I really started thinking about it. And then I started training for it. So yeah, I still had to come down at 220. I still had to come down 30 pounds. But um, I know my body very well. I should, since I've been doing this for so long. If I don't, I'm, I, I'm, I should quit. But um, I know my body very well, and I knew what I had to do. And still a little bit of a struggle to get down. I have to grind a little bit at that 190. I can get to 195, 193, but there's something about that 190. My body saying, "Hell no!" Every show, I just 190.6, 191. It's just, but um, but I, I'm I'm making it every time, and I'm here. It almost must be like um, a science project as you start to take your body down because now before when you're preparing for a bodybuilding show, you knew what the ingredients were to get your size, to get your, your the, the muscle bellies full, etc. Now you've got to scale that back, right? And make sure you fine tune that, especially as you head into the Olympia. Yeah, yeah you know, um, just competing heavier before, you, if, you, if you just imagine the last time I weighed in at the show, was 1990 at the universe and then after that and which the, the the last time i weighed 190 was 1988 <laughs> so with all that said um yeah it's, it's a lot of um you know science involved and knowing my body and changing things daily as my body respond to it yeah now we're, we're heading into the olympia and obviously you're you've inspired so many other people and the fact that we've seen you back on stage since i think the last show was 2013 correct me if i'm wrong yes yes i did one master show yes so um we're glad that classic physique has allowed people like yourself to come back on stage and at 47 at 47 yeah you know um i really don't th i really i mentioned my age but i really don't think about it I just focus because it doesn't matter what age you are up there. Uh, if you can, if you can be competitive, you're competitive. And um, thank God, I guess it's, I, I give some to my um, to my genes, my parents, and and a lot to to also just my way of life. I I try not to stress too much throughout my life, and I've always uh, eaten healthy, and I always seen this as a healthy sport, and I've always really take care of myself in every way, and that's why I'm still here. And finally, before we wrap up, you are known for the wonderful, the art of posing in your routines. What, where is the inspiration, or what inspiration inspires you to make these routines? Um, it, it's just a lot of times the music speaks to me. You know, if you recall some of my previous things, I've I've, I've gone far uh, different ranges. Like, let's say I'll do a rap, and then I'll do a, a, cl a classical song by Andrew Bocelli. You know, and I do an opera song, so I can diversify and go either way. Once I hear the music, it speaks to me, and um, I just do what it's hard to me to explain. I just do what the music's telling me to do, and um, I'm able to bring it together. Well, thank you very much for competing here at the Toronto Pro Show. 
in the men's classic physique. We look forward to having you here next year to return to defend your title, we certainly hope. Well, you know, I came back here because I've always fared well here. The people always respond very nicely to me, also the judges. And uh, in, when we were setting up my whole schedule this year, I looked at my girl and I said, I got to do Canada because it feels like that's always like my home away from home where competing is concerned. And to be back here next year, yeah, you'll see me here back here next year. I'm going to hold you to that there. Well, we'll be looking forward and watching for you at the Olympia. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is Nancy Danino signing off.